All right, we're back with part two of the poems and stuff like that. Is that, is that even English? What the fuck? Chamon père et ma mère. What? What is this shit? Oh. Okay, that's that confused the hell out of me. Um, this is spring 2004. My teacher wrote a little note on it. Uh, oh, by the way, I didn't even say I'm going over old stuff that I wrote as a kid in, res in extended response to a question about when I wanted, when I knew I was going to be a writer. And I said that I didn't do a lot of writing growing up outside of school stuff. And this was it. So this is where we went on a field trip to the Belknap Mill uh, in Laconia. Um, and I was writing as a guy, writing a letter at, in, as a guy called Fred, did I make up that name? Fred Naded? Is that what that says? Fred Naded? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, and the, it's written in his perspective on December 24th, 1918. Je m'en père et ma that means it's fucking French or something. My life at the mill is great. My job at the mill is being a boarder. The boarder puts socks on boards and puts them in the steam chamber. It is frustrating to put the stocks exactly on the line so they don't get wrinkled. I like to sign in and out at the mill at the time card machine. It makes a loud ching sound. How's Ronaldo, my pet chicken, doing at the farm? Did you feed him his vitamins? I hope you have handled Ronaldo with ease. I've worked at the mill for three years, and I'm pretty good at my job. I'm dreaming of me moving up from being a boarder to being a supervisor. I hope the machine fixers fix that hydroelectric system so we can get the power back. I don't get paid unless I'm boarding socks! Exclamation point. How is Fluff the Rat? Does Juana... My little sister still put her socks in her mouth. I hope Uncle Pierre hasn't fallen asleep in his food again. Well, I'll see you again someday. Oh, I almost forgot. I made nine friends. Dude, I couldn't fit. I made nine friends. I couldn't fit one. Oh, fine. Nine new friends. I couldn't fit two last words on it. Sincerely, Fred Noded. Chris Holm. And then this is my time, this is my time card machine. So, uh, yeah, if you ever want to um, sit there and have, like, a stark contrast of improvement for writing and drawing, just look at this shit that you did in third grade. That really sets it into perspective. Um, this is the same poem I did for Yogi the Bear. It's just on its own piece of paper. This is what was scanned into the poetry book for the first part. Uh, what is this here, huh? MCS Writing Sample, Fall 2002, Directions for the Students. So, your writing prompt. Third graders like to visit many different places. Choose one place you have visited and write all you can about it. Your writing should include details that describe who, where, when, what, and why. Uh, important reminders for good writing. Your writing should be thoughtful, complete, and on topic from beginning to end. You should support your ideas with details. Remember that the strength of your sentences, wording, and mechanics as to the effectiveness of your writing. Plan your response carefully. Be sure to give yourself enough time to write and proofread your final draft. i tell you what right now. Second grade Chris, this is 2002, didn't know what half of those words meant. Nuh-uh, I was dumb. I was a dumb, dumb idiot kid. And this is, oh yeah, so that's like the teacher's instructions for it right there. Um, and then this is my final draft. Buffet King. I don't know if anybody knows a buffet king but i used to go there it was just like a a big chinese restaurant dude fucking coolest place ever burned down um october 15 2002 i like to go to buffet king but it takes so long to get there it's probably like an hour i don't know but once you get there you get to eat and drink and you eat candy and beef teriyaki spelled t-a-r-y-o-c-k-e-y it is fun there. Our car is so slow, so no, spelled K-N-O-W, so no wonder it takes so long to get there. It's a big place. They have big bathrooms. I get a big appetite <laughs> once I get there. When I'm full, my st <laughs> my stomach eeks. That place is great. I s you won't take a wild guess how I spelled stomach. 
take a, a wild guess. S T U M E C K. Stomach. Stomach. Oh, mm, my stomach aches. <laughs> Spelling was is was never and is still not my strong suit. I'm very bad at spelling. Um, I got two more things right here, and this isn't everything. This is just what I found pretty quickly as I was sifting through a box. Uh, the this is the Adventures of Super Paper, heavily, definitely inspired by Captain Underpants. There is a page on the back of the co of the book, a comic book. Okay, so this is the cover art right there. Pretty stellar. We got so much art going on here. Once upon a time, there lived a superhero named Paper. One day, his worst enemy attacked the city. Holy shit, that's brutal. There is a, I'll show you in a minute. There's a man getting cut in half by sentient scissors. Um, You're no match for me, said Super Paper. Wanna go? <laughs> says the scissors. The scissors ask him, wanna go? Well, oh, which way? Okay. Dude, look at that brutal. He got cut in half. Wanna go, punk? Fucking fight me, dude. Uh, paper took out his machine gun. What year is this? <laughs> How old was I? Fucking what? <laughs> what the fuck? How old was I? I don't, this must have been second or third grade. I don't know. <laughs> took out his machine That's a sick machine gun. Um, then he says, you're on, bub. Uh, and scissor, spelled S-I-Z-Z-E-R, got in got in his tank scissors are certified tank drivers if you if you didn't know and then he says you're gonna die so they started to fight and scissor came out of his tank and paper put down his gun because there was no way i was drawing that uh and paper is winning the fight paper won the battle <laughs> in one panel paper's winning paper wins um yeah that's the tank and machine gun go ahead and let that soak in I'm uh, gonna scroll up a little bit, check that out, yeah, 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 and then he, uh, he's winning and wins. Yeah, there you go. I, I'm completely blocking my view of the, of the camera, so I can't see what you saw. Um, help! Someone's in trouble. They need me. This is like a very, like, um, uh, he's standing on top, it looks like on top of a mountain or a tree, gripping the American flag. They need me! And so he went to save them. There's a big goo monster saying roar. It looks like he has a, a handgun, but I, it could be a boomerang. It could honestly be anything. Uh, two people are screaming. Uh, don't worry, citizens, as he's flying. And then the the big creature is going ha 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 as he's looks like absorbing a human with his lower section. So there he is. they're calling for help. That's him staying on top of a giant mountain holding a flag. They need me. Or, yeah. Um, then you have the big goop monster with looks like maybe a handgun or a boomerang. He could be Australian. And then he's like absorbing that man down by his little bottom section. Absolutely wild. Oh yeah, look at him flying, dude. That should be new Twitchy, but look at, uh, look at him absolutely soaring through the sky. Maniac. Hero, some would say. Oh god, this got brutal. Dude, I definitely, I needed mental help when I was a kid. Holy shit, how did... I was the only kid drawing a, a sentient piece of paper shooting a muck monster. I was the only one doing that. Um, take this evildoer as he shoots him four times in the chest with a 9mm handgun. Um, and then the next panel just says, he killed him. And he's on the ground going, uh, Then there's a man with a gun robbing somebody. Says, don't move. And the person screams, help. Super Paper goes, freeze, mister, as he points at him. Because, you know, whenever you're confronting a criminal, you address them appropriately and respectfully with mister. MR dot. The guy goes, Mr. Paper, and drops his gun. And I don't know what happened, but it looks like the dude fell over, and it says, he won. So, there's him um, shooting the fuck out of a muck monster, murdering this creature, who is probably just trying to get sustenance, then you have uh, something going on there I can't see. Then you have more something that's going on that I can't see. That's insane. Holy shit, dude. Uh, that's a T-Rex. That's a uh, <laughs> someone else is in trouble. Help! There's a, a, a person getting devoured by a full-blown T-Rex. Although, looking at it, proportionally, I think I got the size right. A T-Rex is known to be, like, on average 49 feet tall or something like that. And... Judging by how big that person is, I mean, the T-Rex, it probably could be a little bit. Anyway, so Paper is trying to fight the beast. 
and Paper is losing. Holy shit, dude, his streak is almost over. He's getting punched by a T-Rex. Um, okay, bub, you asked for it. And pulls out a laser gun. There's the T-Rex. Pretty stellar. Pretty swag. He's getting punched by a T-Rex. You know, who, who saw that coming? Not me. I didn't see that coming. Now he has a laser gun. Definitely didn't see that coming. That's a twist for the ages. Somebody call Shyamalan. Uh, then the last panel's on the back. Uh, he gets shot in the cock. Sorry, um, any kids out there. Gets shot in the weenie. Um, so he defeated the beast. Truth and justice never fails, says Mr. Paper. The end. Look for my next book, Paper Against Mr. Milk. Don't want to screw with that guy, dude. He'll give you the poops. My book costs $4.50, and that's Mr. Milk, but that looks very inappropriate. So there's the T-Rex getting his uh, colon blasted. I guess the colon. Yeah, yeah, the colon's there. What am I saying? Um, boom. Victory. The end. And look at Mr. Milk. That doesn't look sexual at all. Kind of gross. But I wonder what this would have cost for inflation. $4.50? I can't look it up. You're, you are my phone. Uh, $4.50 back in the day. Back in, I, I'm assuming, 2002 or 2003. Because apparently 2002, 3, and 4 was a lot of writing projects. Mountain Dew. <clears throat> last one <sighs> spring 2004 this is the runaway dog by Chris Holmes check this out dude we got a painting we got a painting that's my dog Max I think yeah that must be Max then we have our cat I think that is that socks must be socks and then we have the bunny Smokey who all my rabbits in my parents' house had a tragic end because my parents are like, yeah, they're rabbits. They should stay outside in the hutch. Yeah, Dad, it's negative four. Are the rabbits going to be okay? They weren't okay. They all fucking froze to death. Um, <clears throat> the Runaway Dog by Chris Holmes. Once upon a time, there lived a family, the Holmes. Didn't see that one coming. Good night, dear, said Becky, the mom. Good night, honey, said James, the dad. Plot thickens. <laughs> Mom, dad, screamed Henry and Chris. Max, the dog, isn't in the basement, said Henry. I'm, I'm glad Henry was, like, um, really good about making sure that they had all the information needed. Max, the dog, isn't in the basement, said Henry. Yeah, we checked everywhere in the basement, and he's gone, cried Chris. Chris, why don't you just pull out a gun and shoot the problem, apparently. I looked out my window, but... We didn't see him, interrupted Henry. We have to go find him, said Chris. Not at 9.30 at night, boys, said Mom angrily. Chris and Henry both shouted, please, real loud. Oh, fine, get your jacket on, boys. We're going to look for Max, said Becky. Yes, shouted Henry and Chris. It's such a... Yeah, we're going to go look for a missing dog. Super paper, let's go. Like, it's just so fucking, like, it's so 90s. It's so 90s commercial. Whoa! Super paper! <laughs> like, oh, man. <clears throat> uh, so they got in the Blazer, which is the car we were driving, I guess, at the time, and off they went to search for Max. And this is a true story, by the way. This this didn't all happen in all this detail, but, like, the dog definitely got out, and we definitely got in the car and drove up and down the road looking for him. This did happen. Just not in the way that I wrote it like this. Hey, Ma, where do you think a German Shepherd would go if they ran away? Asked Chris. I don't know, Chris, said Becky. But let's ask the neighbors if they have seen Max. It's pretty late for that. So they asked for about 30 minutes, saying, He's a German Shepherd, has a German Shepherd run by here? Until they heard something yelping. Oh, no. Hey, Mom, what was that? Asked Chris. I don't know, Chris, said Becky. Let's check it out, cried Henry. So they drove closer to where the sound came from, and to their surprise, they found Max. Max! They all shouted. Oh, kids, look! He's caught in a bear trap! Shouted Becky. Which is true, he was caught in a bear trap. I remember that. I remember his... On his back left leg, I think? I don't know. Aw, poor Max. Here, let me help you. <laughs> so Chris pulled and tugged and gasped. A little help would really be appreciated, you fucking asshole! Shouted Chris. I didn't say that part, but... So they pulled and pulled, and finally, it snapped free. Yes, we got it, said Henry. Then, Max jumped up and tried to lick everyone's hands on three legs. Max was whimpering in pain, with pain. Then, hold on. Ugh. I 
I get my, I get my little tushy comfy. Hold on. My tushy is not quite comfy. Time out. I gotta sit on my pillow because I sink into my bed. My bed is very sinkable. It's super comfy, but it's sinkable. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Then Max jumped up and tried to lick everyone's hands on three legs. Max was whimpering with pain. Then Henry wrapped in Max's paws in a bandage. Good thing I brought a first aid kit. <laughs> Good thing. Suddenly they heard a scream. Help, called a man's voice. I don't know if this happened. Yeah, this definitely did not happen. <laughs> this, I embellished this part of the story. So they drove towards the screen. Then they saw a flipped car. Help, cried the man. Hey, Mom, look, that guy's stuck in a hole, said Chris in a gasp. How can you be in a gasp? Let's get him out, said Henry. How'd you get down there, asked Becky. Well, I was on my way home from work with my new convertible, and I hit this huge bump. And I wasn't seatbelted, and my door wasn't shut tight, so I fell into this large ditch, said the man. Can we help in any way? Sorry, I'm playing this out like it is just a 90s fucking Goosebumps cinematic or something. This dude, all caps, by the way. Yeah, you can start by pulling me out, yelled the man. So they pulled and pulled, but they kept slipping on the mud. Then, Max grabbed the man's sleeve and pulled. You can do it, Max, said Chris. One, two, three... Three uh, is missing an E by way. Threat. Max pulled him out. Thank you so much. Here, take this, said the man. He handed Becky a bundle of money. What's your name? asked Chris. My name's John, said the man as he drove off. When they got home, they told James, my dad, all about it and went to sleep. But not Henry and Chris. No, no, no. They stayed up all night and made Max a medal out of Chris's old soccer medal and gave it to Max in the morning. The end. So, half that story was true. There was no man, I'm sorry for lying to you, there was no man in the convertible that gave us a bundle of money for saving him because he hit a large bump without a seatbelt on and flew out of his car and the car flipped into a ditch. That didn't happen. But we did, in reality, uh, get our dog unstuck from a bear trap. Or some kind of a trap. It was a wildlife trap. I don't remember exactly. Insane stuff. Unhinged, even. Can't believe I didn't shoot the trap with a gun. So that'll about do it. That's some uh, old writing. So we went from that back in 2003. How old was I in 2003? How old How old is somebody? I, I was never good at... What, what age was I in 2003? I was 10 years old. I was born in 93. Yeah, so 10 years old. Okay, I don't know why that took me so long together. I, I forgot that I was born in 93. I was trying to do reverse math of 18 and 12th grade, and I started from the wrong end. I should have started from birth to third grade. I was 10. Coming to now, where I have actual books. Still about roughly the same amount of murder. Um... Compared to those with the adventures of Mr. Paper or Super Paper. I don't know. The adventures of Mr. Super Paper and how many guns he used and killed multiple entities, um, including a T-Rex. I haven't gone to T-Rexes in my book series yet, but something tells me new antagonist, the T-Rex punches. That's about enough of that shit. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, um... And uh, for all you out there who are struggling, thinking, I'm not very good at writing or drawing, um, hey, neither am I. But here we are. Keep trying. Do better. You can do it. I believe in you. We believe in you. Embellish your story. Flip a convertible. Have a good night.